Hi Gemini, how are you? You came in fourth head to head with the fuse and likes um, with Libra, another air sign. So here's your reading and uh, I did Libra first just to show everybody that I do not have any favorites because you're all as important um, as each other. We all have our gifts, our talents and our special um, issues. Lovely issues I might add. <laughs> okay, um, well I'm using a, a new deck and that's the tarot uh, leaves as you can see and there's maple leaves. Um, what are they? Maple, apple, oak and birch leaves. So I hope you enjoy that. And by the same author I have the Dream Raven Tarot. I love that deck because of the vibrant colours. And I think she does a fantastic um, intuitive and they do stimulate your intuition very much so and I love it. Okay so here we go. You come in with the King of Pentacles. So whatever you do, whatever you touch will turn to gold, as they say, as he has or has the neatest touch. So if you're investing in something or if you're starting something new, it will bring in big returns, whether it is happiness or monetary. You could also be dealing or meeting a tourist as the King of Pentacles represents Taurus mainly, but it could also be a Virgo or a Capricorn, whatever resonates with you. You've also got the King of Cups and he is a very nurturing, loving, passionate man. There you go. He's, um, the King of Cups mainly represents Cancer, but remember it could also be a Pisces or a Scorpio. He is a nurturing man, also very intuitive, mostly, um, as he is a water sign, and that is what is, uh, represents the water signs, passion, love, uh, nurturing, caring, sensuality and sexuality, also being intuitive and empathic. So this person, these two kings are lovely kings. They go, he goes with the flow and he's down to earth and can be very astute. Both of these can because a king has his emotions under control. But the king of pentacles will always do the research before he invests. And the king of cups will also do the research, but also will listen to his intuition. Okay, but he won't let his heart rule his mind or vice versa. So they're both very astute people. Also, you come in with the Five of Wands. This could mean that you could have competition around you if you have a business or in romance there could be competition, there could be choices that you might have to make um, because there could be more than one person interested in you. So there you go. Don't be careful, don't worry about the competition. You can choose what you want. But make sure you find out the information before you invest your heart and time into a relationship. Also, if you have your own business, this could be the competition competing with your um, opposite, your, um, how do you call that in English? Your competition. So if you're selling shoes and across the road there is another shop that's selling shoes, don't worry. So long as you know that you've done the right thing and you've done the research, what people or customers would like and what the fashion is like. That, that's what I mean. Also, the five of wands could mean arguments or disputes, but they're short lived. OK. You might feel out of balance because you've got number five. So make sure that you seek all the information and that you can balance things um, uh, in financially or with your heart and your mind financially or your heart and your mind listen to your intuition at all time it is the uh, most uh, strongest uh, alarm system uh, in the world and it's for free also you have the moon so this is highlighting the fact that you should 
um, listen to your intuition and also to your subconscious not only that is your sub um, subconscious means uh, the ideas um, that you have and you want to put into the material world do the research before you do it listen to your feelings and listen to your mind if not try to bounce it off onto somebody else especially if you have a partner in romance or in business bounce ideas of each other now you've got the two wolves here and the two pillars so there is an archway there is something uh, being presented to you by the divine um, uh, this is the portal the divine portal or the angelic portal as i say and step through it step into this new beginning but make sure you do the research also because the moon has the dark side and the light side follow the light on your path to your northern note but take care of the dark moments do the research find the answers to a situation or a question at hand also you could be dealing with again a cancer or a Pisces since the moon represents both these signs these are the two water signs in water but the other water sign that is Scorpio is the only one on land now it is cancer that can be in the water and on land the fish is the only one that can be in water you also have the two of ones what I mean is that that's why sorry I'll just explain myself here there I have been wondering myself why Scorpio is a water sign when it lives on land but I'll take it because my own definition of this is that Pisces is in water and um, a crab or a, a lobster and that depends on which deck you use uh, they call it the crab cancer is crab as well in the Dutch language we call the lo uh, the, uh, the lobster or the crab the crab is cancer okay Millie stop it she's playing with a toy <laughs> uh, sorry about that guys so anyway uh, so that's the way I've um, defined it or for myself cancer can do both water and land the fish can only go in water and Scorpio is in, on the land so that's why uh, the two fish represent the moon because it is the element water but I always say if I say one zodiac sign um, usually like with the king or the queens or the knights or the pages um, they do represent one particular sign but always remember the other two it could be any of the three okay you've also got the two ones so you're making plans definitely you wanting perhaps to spread your wings branch out uh, if it, in business of course or perhaps you might want to transist into a fully fledged relationship that is like spreading out branching out you've got the eight of pentacles so the eight of pentacles definitely says recognition and recognition of course means uh, improving your business branching out so if you are planning because the two of wands means partnering up you could be planning with a partner business partner but you could also be planning something to do in the future with your romance partner like going on holiday or uh, saving money or investing in something like buying a house or something like that so or planning to get married because love is in the air with the king of uh, cups definitely um, so definitely you might be planning a wedding or living together so you are definitely succeeding and you're getting note uh, uh, you're getting a recognition um, from your partner and also from an employer perhaps if you haven't got your own business so this could mean a pay rise or a promotion 
Also the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight is the House of Power and the House of Money. So definitely with the King of Pentacles, I think you could be receiving more money or investing in something that will bring in more money. That said, you are definitely in your strength. So don't worry too much, Gemini. Uh, things will, uh, like a, I'm hearing somebody saying, a cat will always land on his four feet. And a cat has nine lives. <laughs> That's what she's saying. So don't fret. Um, it's not the end yet. So don't worry too much. So long you do the research, you will be fine. If you're uh, buying a house, get a survey done on the house so that you don't land up in deep water that is also and i think it's my mum today here again that is what she said so spend the extra money to make sure there are no pitfalls there that could be the dark side of the moon lovers partnering up in romance or in um, general in life with somebody that thinks the same way that has the same taste that uh, understands you like nobody else you're like two peas in a pod, your best friends for life. But it could also be um, a new partner in romance or in career. You've got the six of cups, so perhaps an old friend could come back, an old partner, because you do feel a lot, uh, uh, like the same. You act the same, you think the same, and perhaps they are missing you. But if they are coming back, remember why they left in the first place. It doesn't always have to be bad. It could have been that you were <coughs> soulmates when you were younger because the Six of Cups means that somebody could, could be somebody from the past, from the kindergarten, and they had to move home because the, one of the parents got a job somewhere else that paid better, and that's why they moved home. So somebody could be coming back and could be giving you a present and if it's a reconciliation then they could be giving you uh, excuses asking for your to forgive them also you could be reminiscing about the past good memories and bad memories let go of the bad memories learn from them and take the experience into the future so that it won't happen again to end the week at the weekend we have the ace of wands and the aces are always a gift from the cosmos or the divine and i also think of aces as success because usually there is an ending and then you start something new so when you've finished and completed a cycle in life you have learned a lot and it is successful um, as well because you have gained life experience you have gained knowledge on how to do things or not to um, and on, on how not to do things. You've also got the Ace of Swords. So you've got most probably more than one new beginning. If you are in a judicial uh, situation, nearly stop it now. If you are in a judicial situation, sorry about that guys, you will have victory. That is definitely the victory card, the Ace of Swords. Justice will be done. You could be starting a new course of study. The Ace of Wands could be a new hobby, a new passion with a person or with a, um, an, uh, uh, with a, uh, how do you say that, um, an object. This could be that you might be starting a new, knitting a new jumper because you've just finished the other jumper, something a hobby. So you could start also a new passion, a uh, passionate love affair. But if you want to, if you want this love affair to grow into a permanent, long-lasting relationship, because the King of Pentacles is lying next to it, um, that's uh, long term. Then know your boundaries, know their boundaries, let them know your boundaries as well. Again, the Ace of Wands represents Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The Ace of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, um, and Aquarius. Now let me see, um, we've got the Gem uh, Geminis here, so there again, Gemini could be prominent. You've got the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Okay, 
so um, Gemini is twice here and you've got uh, Pisces and Cancer twice and the King of Cups is Cancer so Cancer twice that's prominent strong energy yeah that's great so again a uh, new beginning new uh, you could be gaining new knowledge the truth about something because the swords stand for truth there could be secrets coming out so that is also bounces off the moon could be your secrets or somebody else's secrets could be revealed also this could be uh, starting a new uh, study a workshop perhaps as a hobby doing a weekend workshop perhaps also um, new communication with somebody from the past because the um, swords stand for communication because the passion hasn't died there's still passion there's still a, how do you call it a magnetic um, or a, um, a chemical reaction no i forgot it 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 is also used in the uh, romance um, chemical 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 now nah, i forgot what it was now so the this could be new communication new wisdom uh, if you're in a judicial situation um, justice will be done this is also a little bit of a karma card so yes um definitely success is yours victory is yours chemistry that's what i said chemistry a, chem a, a chemistry um passion of fire chemistry there is a, a, some kind of chemistry there or passion more than that i feel there is more than just passion if somebody's coming in uh, because you're not hooked up with anybody then there is more than just passion okay and a chemical chemist is more chemi chemistry this could be also marriage and because of the king of pentacles long term this is really um, built on a solid foundation on the earth and then we've got the the intuition the passion and the love from the king of cups and then we've got the communication the communication seems to be going swiftly and fast because these two are really um fast moving uh, elements the air and fire also gemini this could be a sagittarius that's your opposite sign so that could be a very strong and great um, relationship definitely passion you you be careful you don't get burned out okay and keep the communication clear transparent honest and truthful also be careful of your emotions okay don't let your heart rule your mind or your mind your heart okay be transparent get to know each other that's what i'm also hearing my mum say talk with each other get to know each other do the research as well i don't mean to start stalking somebody but join their facebook and see what their hobbies are just out of interest so definitely there will be success this week for you gemini in one way or another you like i said um uh, let me see the, the card partnering up you could be buying a house because this could be uh, the official papers signing or um, the justice of the peace right the king of pentacles could be the estate agent or could be a lawyer like also highlighted with the sword could be the justice of the peace could be the lawyer we have got the lovers what is also good is that the passion the passion uh, if you have been separated from somebody perhaps they 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 were it was passion and now it's turned to love and that's why they're coming back perhaps that is the secret that will be released or coming into daylight the truth will be out they want you for themselves and nobody else and they love you it's more than just chemistry and passion like i said
and from the surrender deck we have attachments attachment to results so don't expect um don't be don't expect anything uh, expect the unexpected that is what i would say that this means the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen then let go of the results holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it so don't don't start thinking oh it won't happen it won't happen or it will happen or it will happen that way wait for the unexpected it could be even better than you anticipated i hope you've enjoyed this week's reading and i wish you all the luck of course with this new project or this new passion take care stay safe and be blessed have a wonderful week my gem gems love you and please subscribe like and share it is for nothing it's free you won't get funny emails so please sub if you don't want to be notified just click the bell on private thank you